Morning Year 2. Today we're going to be looking at pictograms again. We're going to be interpreting a pictogram which has a key of 5 and then later on you're going to do it with 10 as well. Um, so interpreting data means that we can answer questions about what the pictogram is showing us, so what this data is telling us. So the first thing to do is to look at the key. So here we've got um, each rectangle is equal to five birds because this is pictogram is all about birds. We've got blackbird, robin, sparrow, thrush and magpie. So if one of these is five, let's th see how many blackbirds there are. So using our knowledge of counting in fives. So this is five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So I'm actually going to write twenty below so that I know it's twenty. Okay, what about robins? How many robins are there? That's it, five. Sparrows, how many sparrows are there? Fantastic, 15. What about thrush? How many thrush? How many thrush birds are there? That's it, zero. And lastly, how many magpies? Five, ten, excellent. Okay, so we've now written the total of each bird in the picture, pictogram. Okay, so let's interpret this data. Let's see if we can answer questions about what this pictogram is showing us. So, question one. We're just doing this verbally, you're not writing it down. In a minute you're going to be writing a question down in your book. So question one, how many more sparrows are there than robins? How many more sparrows are there than robins? So it's telling us there are more sparrows than robins. And we can see that, okay, this is the sparrow and this is robin. So we can see that there are more sparrows than robins, but how many more? We know that this is 5 and we know this is 15. So we're going to count in 5s to see how many more sparrows there are than robins. So they have 5, so we're going to continue from here. So 5, this one's 5, 10. There are 10 more. The difference between 15 and 5 is 10. So we can write that as math story, the difference between 15 and 5, so 15 take away 5 equals 10. There are 10 more sparrows than there are robins. Okay, question 2. What is the total, what is the total number of birds? Hmm. The total number of birds all together they're talking about total number of birds all together. So we've got 20 here, 5, 15, 0 and 10. Hmm, how are we going to count how many birds there are all together? So what I would do is I would use this space here to add these digits together. So we've got 20 add 10. Maybe I don't need to write that down. What's 20 add 10 more? 20 at 10 is 30, so 2 and 1 is 3, so 20 at 30, sorry, 20 at 10 equals 30, so that equals 30. So I'm just noting it down to get, help me, so 30, we've got another 10 here, so that would be 40, so now I'm at 40, and then 5 add 5, that's another 10. So that's, what's 40 add 10 more? 40, 50. So that equals 50. 20 add 10 is 30. Add another 10, 40. 5 add 5 is 10, so that would be 50. So the answer, I'll put it underneath, equals 50. Don't, be, don't worry about making notes, okay? If you need to write something down to help you work it out, that's totally fine. Okay, and question three says, how did you calculate that? So how did you answer this question? Okay, what, what did you do to get that answer? 
Okay, so think about that. I added the tens first and then the ones. Okay, how else could you have done it? Hmm. Okay, you're going to have a go now at doing um, a couple of questions. Okay, remember it's important to look at the key first and then use that to count either in fives or tens. Okay, or twos. You might use twos, fives or tens. So use your knowledge of counting to help you to answer these questions. Okay, goodbye.